I, I don't All know. Time. It's all career stuff and relationship stuff. One time I went, okay, I got tarot cards read by this girl who's like a I get comedian. scared to get those read. Well, yeah. here, I choose that they're good. Like, if, yes, they're, that, if it's a good it, yeah. thing, I'm like, they are real. Yes. If it's bad, I go, you, this is fake. Mm-hmm. I'm not like, when people are like, Mercury's in retrograde, I'm like, get your fucking heck shit away from me. Yeah. Don't give me a bad month. I don't mm. want to have a bad month or two weeks or however long it is. That's a good call. But, with that said, so years ago, I was like, I came up kind of fast in the open mics and stuff. Like, I just worked really hard and just always kind of wanted it to be my career. And so there would be these people that have been doing mics for like a while that, I think they might have just been there to like, you know, have friends. I'm like afraid of the the Slobber Corners. Um, Slobber Corners, the podcast coming out. Um, so I go to this, I don't know what the event was, it was some like show or whatever, and they're like, oh, and this like open micro bitch is going to be doing tarot cards. So I'm like, okay, like, I'm like a not, like, kind of like believing, like I, I trust people. Yeah. But I didn't, wasn't thinking about where she is in her, like she probably already like hated my guts. Like she probably fucking couldn't stand me. Yeah. So I came in and like passed her or whatever. So she's doing my tarot cards and she's like, well, what do you want? And I'm like, do I tell this bitch what I want? Like, I was like, I don't know. I like said something like nothing. You know, I was like, um, it'd be cool to like get, I don't know what I said, but she was like, no, for your career. And I was like, well, you know, I have my Montreal callback, my Montreal Comedy Festival callback. And um, I think I'm gonna get it. And she's like, oh, you're not gonna get it. Oh. She goes, Sorry, you're not gonna get Montreal, and I was like, and it kind of fucked with me for like a couple of weeks. Yeah. But I'd already done the, I'd already done all the work, you know. Yeah. And then I got it, and like years later, I saw her, and I was like, you know, I did fucking get Montreal. It's like fucked up that you said I wasn't gonna get it. She goes, yeah. Oh, I just make that shit up, and I was like, you just <laughs> make that shit up and didn't give it to me. Yeah, yeah. You fucking bitch, but. Yeah. So I guess be careful who you get them from. They can't be someone that's like got the poison for you. No, no. Are you guys past the poison phase, or do you have the poison for any specific people? What does that mean? Uh, like their like when their career succeeds, you go like. T- I I have it. A little bit for the most part, I don't. I think I'm pretty yeah. nice, but I have it a little bit for like people I don't even know who I think suck, yeah. but no one I know because yeah. most of the people I know I kind of get it. Yeah. Or I like them. Yeah. Um, but some people I don't know, I have a little bit of that where I I do get shot in Freud when they, you know, yeah. when things don't work out for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I try not to beat myself. My therapist said a smart thing one time where he's like, look, if my best friend wins the lottery, a small percentage of me wants him to lose it all. So I think it's yeah, just kind of yeah. like baked into it. But what do you, do you have the poison? I don't think I, I think I'm free of the poison of people, but it's, but it's taken a long time. They'll just be like random people just attach myself. I'm like, why is, what would their, and they're always like not as successful as me. It's weird. Okay, just, but isn't that just disliking someone? I'm just like, this guy sucks. Fuck this I guy. Guess. No, there are, like, I will find, like, my favorite comedian to hate. Like, they'll just, I'll just scroll through, like, the, you know, laugh back period once in a while. They're like, oh, I hate this person. Who's mm-hmm. this person? And then all of a sudden, I see them all the time. And I go, I just made this person be in my life. Mm. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I, I, just, yeah. I, I collected them. Or you know, you know what happened, too, is all, this happened a lot when I was starting open mics. There'd be someone I'd be like, I fucking don't like that person. I don't like the way they do jokes. I don't like their energy. And then you get to know them, and, and oftentimes too like open mic someone would suck on stage but then be lovely yeah. off of it and then I'd get to know them and I'd be like oh this guy's kind of cool yeah and I think that if I if I knew the people I had the poison for I'm sure it would yeah. go away yeah and I feel like the the worst thing like if you're cool off stage and you kind of suck on stage you can work with that and you can have quite a career if you're good on stage and bad off stage it's I think that's harder mm. oh interesting because I think so much of it is the hang like I have so many people that I know that are pretty good comics and stuff but the way the the vibe i get from them like i would never take you on the road i would never want to like hang out with you mm. like i have opportunities that would help you but i i you would take from my joy yeah because right? i get don't you get people like i'm sure you guys because you guys are pretty successful you and you've been i don't know i didn't know you guys before you, your stuff but i don't know how long were you guys doing it before you started like doing the news and stuff <laughs> four or five years yeah that's yeah. it yeah Around three, three, yeah. Four, yeah. But that's pretty fast to get. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, he got good really fast. Yeah. I, you have a weird... 
You have an inferiority complex. You think so? Yeah. No, I have a huge ego. You think you do you think you're better than them? No. I do like to pit you guys against each other. Yeah. <laughs> People try to do that. Comics always no, try to do that. No, but I always but I always want you guys to feel like the like when I did the Bobby show with you guys, mm -hmm. I was like, do you guys feel like cuz it is weird to be like a team. Yeah. But I was like, are you like looking at each other's sets and going like he did better than me? Sure. Oh, I think yeah, that's yeah. always in there. There's, yeah. there's a healthy competitive sort of that's thing. That's fun. I think I think the thing though is that uh, that's good is like aspiration wise like he, he has sort of more director kind of yeah. aspiration and more actor so yes. I think that's good right yeah and I think also we both uh, love each other a lot yeah, so yeah. We're, we're super competitive I mean there's days yeah. we want to like competitively like rip each other's heads yeah. off but I think there's a but you guys like each of your wins like brings the other up too oh yeah. 100 yeah. yeah and there's deep respect for one another too yeah. I think that's the yeah. biggest thing is like we really respect each other yeah. yeah my like you you is i talk to bonnie mcfarland like every night I, or every day i like yeah. love her so much but bonnie's like i saw her hbo special when i was first starting like she's like so our dynamic is she likes to direct and stuff so we're writing a movie together that i'll star in and then she'll direct it mm -hmm. and it's like so we're, we're actually writing a series of movies it's gonna be awesome we're writing me like a western a horror Oh, that's fun. Yeah, like every genre of movie. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Um, but it's like, it helps that she is like, I like, st I stand her because she's, I like look up to her so much. Mm -hmm. So there's no like, you know, like if we had a similar joke, which happens a lot because we talk all the time, I would never take it. Yeah. It would always be hers. Yeah, I, I think one thing too is that we're like similar sort of like that Orange County vibe but also mm -hmm. different yeah and there's just like this inherent sort of difference in between yeah. us between us that, that you know if we were like both look the same and like we're exactly you know this, yeah, I think yeah. that would make it a lot, lot more difficult but I think the fact that people see us as like a, a duo but it's like you guys yeah. just no matter what you do you always will have a different kind of yeah uh, there's just a difference yeah. between the two of you that you can't really... And it complements each other. It complements, yeah. And then, um, do your girlfriends like each other? I haven't met you. Because yeah. yeah. my relationship's relatively new, and then... I really yeah. like Chad's girlfriend a lot, Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just seen her. I seen her at the shows. Cute. Thanks. I'm excited. <laughs> my boys get girlfriends. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Well, also, it's like, I, sometimes I worry about these boys on the road. It's like, it's a crazy life out there. Right. Yeah, how so? It's just like, okay, like, I, you guys aren't the guys to me in my head. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, you don't seem to be doing it to only get pussy. Like, you seem to be, like, I'm sure that there's been some, some fun times and mm -hmm. good times. But there are people that you're like, they're just old, and they're like, you're still doing this? Like, they just grow out of it, and it's like, I just, I'm like, they just don't seem like they're ever going to be. Yeah, well, I think a lot of comedians... Like, old as fuck, still don't, and you're like, you're still, like... Chasing. Yeah. It's just like... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I never, I, I never really was that way. Like, I would hook up with a lot of people, but I was yeah. never really, like, even in college, like, I, I was never really going to, like, chase you know like yeah these are like or like let's go to chill like let's talk to chicks yeah. Yeah. i was never really that guy yeah uh i've had my phases i mean i was really not great with women for like the first quarter of my life and then i think after that i went a little like i just got super excited at the possibility of it and then but i, I have found that when i'm in that headspace of like i'm just trying to hook up with girls and uh as and that's taking up a lot of my time I don't really like. It, it's not fulfilling, right? It's it's, like, it's yeah, it's fun, but it's like it's no you like don't feel it. full. Like yeah. you're, it's not. I don't. I don't think it's great for my psychology. Yeah. I think I, I. It douches me up pretty quick. Well, it's just like you think about. It, it's like, do you guys want to have kids and stuff? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's like some people are just like, are you gonna like have kids or do anything or? Yeah, I I think I think for me too, it's like, I think part of it that was just inherent in like my drive mm -hmm. towards like this career and stuff is like wanting to you know get hotter chicks and stuff yeah it does and work I think that, doesn't it work more than it does really? yeah and that, that's like but then and there's no other thing yeah i mean like the, an athlete i guess athlete athletes especially more. when you see them in but person athletes, athletes more but athletes already have the fucking they're already built the like yeah, yeah yeah like they already have 
But they have way more swagger. When you watch athletes and actors together, you're like, oh, the athletes. Yeah. yeah. But I think the actors don't. I think actors have. They're kind of. They're small in real life. <laughs> they're, they're not kind of like. Not even physically. They're yeah. just like kind of like. <laughs> they're so, but people. they are. They're like. Yeah, they're like Tell me what to say. Yeah. I'll I give think you, uh, my entire body. I won't be a person. I think too. I, I was always kind of a. So that was like part of it, but I think I was always attracted to the idea of like having a really hot girlfriend or wife. Yeah. And then because I just love the career yes. part so much, and just like doing comedy. Yeah. That, that's just what I love to do. So I don't. I don't even. When I, I always got sort of frustrated like why am I wasting my time yeah. with all these dates and shit musicians always have hot wives too yeah mm-hmm. it's good yeah you want like a fucking hot cool wife yeah yeah that'd be nice That's... now the hotties are cool too I mean it's everyone's nobody has like I've never met like a dumb dumb hot wife right. I think a lot of people think like hotter people are dumber but I think also they have a lot they have a lot of experiences and that kind of shapes them to they be just get so much. more intelligent yeah. in certain yeah, ways yeah you guys get the, when you when you marry like one of those people where it's like are we allowed to talk like the different species hot people? Mm-hmm. That's really mm-hmm. difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Different species. Not for me, but like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I, I hope for my. Yeah. You know, I also found when I was single, it made me too competitive. Yeah. Like, I would check out like every girl and like, not like in a leering way, but I'd be like, I wonder if I could like, yeah. you know, if things shook out my way, if I could yeah. get with her. But then I was also comparing myself to every dude. Yeah. And so every dude I saw, I'd be like, can that guy get laid more than me? <laughs> and then I was like, this is fucking yeah. exhausting. Like, it just put me in a headspace that was, uh, I don't know, distracting, I yeah. guess. <laughs> just, like, so different for girls. Well, on the it? road, I'm like, ew! Like, when a guy, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. oh, like, one of my audience, I'm like, oh. do, you, do you get frustrated that, like, it's not sort of... The same? Yeah. I know, I could be crushing cock if that was <laughs> my thing. But, yeah. Yeah, no, I, um... <laughs> I hooked up with, like, one oh, audience member once because he was just, he really was just, like, so hot that it was, like... You had to it do was, it. He was one of those people. I was like, what is happening? Mm-hmm. Um, but I was, like, joke hitting on him on, on stage. I was like, oh, you were? Oh, yeah, I was just, I was joking. I was like, because he was so hot, I was just like, oh, my God. And then he had his New Zealand accent, I was like... <laughs> oh. I was like, am I imagining him? I was like... And then he just was hitting up the DMs for a different time. Yeah, and when, after you guys had hooked up, were you like, okay, this is a one-off? Or were you like, hey, We, like, stayed, fr- like, internet friends, I guess. I think that's, like, a girl thing, too. Like, yeah. I'm still yeah, pretty chummy with most people I've interacted with. Well, I don't... Yeah, and that's another thing, too. I think some of the... Not, like, actively, no, but... No, no, but I think some of the, the comics that are, like, sport-fucking are mean to that. You're like, just yeah. be not... Like, just have an exchange. Yeah, I think that's a huge part of it. And it's like it's, it's very like being easy. rude. It's like if they say no and then being like, "Hey, you dumbass, stupid bitch." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like but, writing it down. It was like, oh my god. Oh yeah. I did get frustrated with one girl. I invited her to like, I was like, "Hey, do you want to go to this concert?" And she was like, "Yeah, how much are you selling the tickets for?" I was like, "It would be with me, dumbass." Oh, uh, that's so funny. <laughs> well, that's funny. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. No, you're not like, send me nude, you cunt. <laughs> send me your pussy, bitch. And she's like, what? No. No, <laughs> I didn't say so aggressive. I didn't say anything like that. But like... <laughs> send, send me your pussy. Sport. I want to see your pussy now. Like, oh my God, I'm in class. Pussy. Can I get out of class first? Okay, my parents are picking me up. Hold on. You're <laughs> writing that shit. <laughs> it's like, and they're all mad. Like, you know they're like really pissed. You're hanging out with your family and they're just, you're just like on your phone. <laughs> Do you, do you think people who are doing a lot of this sport fucking, do you think they're motivated just by horniness, or do you think there's, like, other uh, factors in play that are making them... It's gotta be, like... It's loneliness, it's right? It's not... Yeah, because it's... You don't feel good. Like, I have only been a girl that's had, like, a one-night stand, and I'm always like, what did I... What have I done? <laughs> like, what, what? why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've never been like, that was incredible. What an ex- incredible experience for my self-esteem. Mm. Like, where I think maybe your self-esteem can get, like, a hit. I mean... No, you do. You do feel like... I've given, like, a, my week with Marilyn, you know, like, you hang out with a guy for a week, you show him the movie? life, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah, take them on a ride. Yeah, like, because, I mean, do we we have, like, such a cool life. Yeah. But I guess it's, like, to get friend-zoned by a girl you're trying to hook up with would be a thing that could happen to you because we do have this, like, fun lifestyle. But you are kind of, like, uh, like, if you're single and you're, like... Inviting a girl to come to shows and stuff. She's coming with you and she doesn't want to fuck you. It's like, it's not like, hey, I don't want a friend. It's just, I'm trying to fuck, like, you're taking my fuck other girls' time. Is that a problem? Um, 
It's just weird. Like that's I not a problem. But I just I, think I, how many times in my twenties I was like, guys were hitting me. I was like, no, there's some new friends, and then I like somehow convinced them to be friends with me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why would they? I look back. I go, of course. And my wife goes, I'm done with girlfriends. I, don't, I have enough girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you, uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, our friend, I think I can just say it, Joe Marisi. Yeah, Do you know Joe? Oh, I love Joe. He had a great story about like going back to a girl's place at, like three in the morning, drunk, and she just wanted to like watch like Sports Center or something odd like that. And then she was probably showing him she was a lesbian. And then he was like, "What? What do you want to be bros? I got enough bros. <laughs> like, I'm not here for more bros." He's like, "But do you have any snacks?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, if I don't leave with a bag of something." I'm just yeah. like, Watching him Valley eat bar. is like one of the joys of my life. He's an incredible eater. And talk about food. Have you listened to his podcast? Yes. I mean, it's so funny. It's like, if anyone told me they were going to make that podcast, I'd go, you're a fucking idiot. That's the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. You're fucking moron. But with him, I'm like, it makes perfect sense. It, Joe mm-hmm. talking about food is the most entertaining thing I've ever listened to. They had a question on his podcast where it's like, Joe, overrated or underrated Philly cheesesteak? Oh, Good question. Like the passion he has for food, is uh, it's just it's the most, it brings me so much joy. He yeah no he would get bring this popcorn from Irwan. It was like jalapeno <laughs> popcorn or something. Mm-hmm. He'd be working a lot, and he would give me some, which I knew was a, like a big deal for him because <laughs> I because I was watching him like savor it. Yeah, yeah. He I think he even brought like a chip clip bag. Yeah. Or like the clip with the, the clip, bag. Yeah. And he would just, he would roll and unroll each, with each bite, which I think is probably like a fat kid thing. Yeah. You know, like he learned to like be mindful about his oh, eating, I think. Yeah. I think it's all stemming from that because he's the passion of a fat kid. Right. Right. Because wasn't he, he was a fat kid. I remember the pictures. I think he was actually a stud. In oh. High school. I think he got uh, fat in college. So he had, a, I know he had a fat moment mm-hmm. and then he lost the weight and the hair. And, uh, uh <laughs> thank God. Looks good. Pulled it together. He's got a beautiful no, dome. I loved his um his joke about how he had his last haircut. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is sad. I'm like, pull out a little so he can keep doing that. This is my last haircut. Yeah, gals lose their hair too, right? Yeah. Are we about to like pop into a Nutrafol ad? Yeah. Oh, dude, I used to take Nutrafol. It's awesome. Did it help? Uh, Hems I don't know. I never. I just my mom. I think it just made it grow faster. Yeah. Is that like the blue goo that you? No, it's, no, just, it's just a pill. pill. It's just like herb. I've been taking my hair drugs. Like, Let me get your hair drugs. Oh, is it working? Yeah. yeah. I, I, doesn't it take like three weeks to kick in? Or Six something? months. Six months. Six right. months? Yeah, yeah that, and I dropped off. I was taking it during working. the pandemic. Well, Todd Just takes hems, and yeah. Todd was like, he was starting to bald, and I mean, he's, he, it's like, 